Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and I'm gonna be doing a snapshot, a messaging around October 2022. That's what we're handling right now because I just feel like we need to. Please keep in mind that time is not linear, not actually. So everything we say here is just something that could be good for you to hear when you come across this video. So if you do come across this a year from now, <laughs> Uh, that's cool. I'm laughing because I'm like, will it be here in a year? I don't know. Um, you know, it, it's still, just listen to it because it might have a lot of resonance for you. So let's all breathe together. I'm going to actually channel right here. Well, not, it's not actually channeling. Channeling is like, you completely move aside. You let this be, this is mediumship, but people are used to the term channeling for this type of message. So that's why I'm using it. Okay. Okay. So here we go. This is a month of great potential for a lot of you listening to this. The potential will be unexpected. So this is that sort of thing that in order for good things to come in, old things have to go. So if you are somebody who as soon as something's not working out, you're throwing a fit. <laughs> <laughs> and going, oh, well, you know, and I get it, you know, I'm laughing, but you know, we all go through that where it's like, I've been working at this project for forever. Why isn't it done? Or, you know, I'm so tired of being treated this way. When is it going to be done? We need to be filtering the power through us. And what that looks like is not, you know, ha let's say you're in the dating world. Okay. And you're out there dating and here comes yet another toxic person. Maybe you're in a heterosexual uh, dynamic. And let's say you're a woman. When I channel, I get an itchy face. I won't tell you. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Um, and, and, you know, maybe you keep attracting a similar kind of person. And it's understandable to say, man, this dating world out here is nuts. But it's, it's telling you something. It's showing you something. And yeah, you know what? When you say, I'm not going to tolerate that anymore, it doesn't mean being defensive. It means not giving it any energy whatsoever. So when you have somebody, let's say there's a dynamic where you're the woman and there's a man and he just wants one thing and he's, you know, uh, it, it really is verbal abuse and emotional abuse when they're like, oh, you're so weird for not wanting what I want or you're so blah, 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 blah. There's something wrong with you if you don't... <sighs> right? Or you're trying to have a conversation with them and they start talking down to you. They start uh, getting snippy with you. None of that's okay. And you just step back and say, no, that's what we're talking about here with October. So there's a lot of, they're, they're calling them personal landmarks. So that means like landmark kind of, um, I, I feel like, uh, big turning points, big important moments that you realize, oh, here's the direction I can go in. Or you know what? If I'm honest with myself, I have been doing nothing but making excuses. If I want that kind of work and I'm not getting it, why is that? What do I need to learn? What can I do to improve myself? It's that. This is also a month of a lot of, um, it's weird because there's sort of a restful period here in the beginning. It makes sense. We have Mercury retrograde still happening in the beginning. Uh, check with an astrologer. I'm not an astrologer, but I believe maybe, what is it, Mars going retrograde towards the end of October. If I'm correct on that, it makes sense that there's sort of like bookended moments of rest and like being more vigilant, <laughs> just kind of watching what you're doing. Uh, and then in the middle here, there's a little momentum. And this is where through rest comes clarity. Through that clarity, you can start making different choices for yourself. And that involves a different perspective. Here's why this doesn't work for most people. Here's why most people will completely dismiss this message. Nobody knows anything more than they do. They got it all worked out. They just come here for entertainment. They just come here to see if someone can actually figure them out. 
because they're so important that someone would need to figure them out, that their presence is a gift. <laughs> right? um, and that's unfortunate because those are the people carrying part, at least in part, dark energy. And they're spreading a toxicity that this world just does not need. I'm telling you, it just does not need it. But for the rest of you, this is a great time for yourself. Let me break that down. Because as I started, I got that message and now they're breaking it open. This is a time where you're allowing yourself to, they're giving me examples in vision. So I got to put them into words. So what it looks like getting out and enjoying beautiful moments. Um, if someone says, hey, you want to go out to dinner and it's a friend you haven't heard from in a long time and you want to catch up with them, but you're at work and you feel like, no, I can't. I, I have to stay focused. See, that's part of the toxicity of our society, especially in the United States. Work comes first. You're a good person if you work hard. Well, uh, I mean, <laughs> have you met some of the people that do that? Not that they're all bad people. I'm just saying, like, not very well balanced for sure. This is about balance. This is about figuring out a way to go and allow yourself to have a, some lighthearted fun. Allow yourself to go off and really spark creativity. And I know that I am at my most creative when I put in, <laughs> I'll put on my headphones um, and I listen to music that I really love. And sometimes I get up and maybe I'm cleaning my apartment or maybe I'm dancing around my apartment. I live alone so I can do that. Uh, and because I don't have anybody filming me. Weird side note, isn't it weird on like TikTok how people are always supposed to be like filming people who don't know that they're filming them? I just think that's weird. Anyway, um, <laughs> and when I do that, I'm, I'm getting inspired by the music. Then I will sit down and I will do something like writing or something along those lines. This is that kind of month where you're allowing yourself to nurture that inner child. If that means for you here in the United States, Halloween's a big deal. You want to go to a, a costume party? Cool. You want to decorate your house? Cool. You want to sit at home and read a book and, you know, do some quiet healing time for yourself? Do that. This is about being very in tune with what your needs are. If you're somebody who is already very selfish, this isn't for you. This channel is not for you. Goodbye. Um, but you don't need to feel guilty for resting. You don't need to feel guilty about not having all the answers. That's another big message that's coming through. If you can accept all of that, there is a big chance here for many people who are going to come across this video for you to embrace your life force and let it come out in a different form. This is where some of you might find, um, I'm smiling because it, it could be so simplistic where it's like, eh, I don't like red velvet cake. I don't, I don't like it. And then someone's like, here, just try it. And you try it, you're like, oh my gosh, this is my new favorite cake. Or <laughs> I don't like golfing. I don't golf. I don't know why golf is coming up. Um, I don't like golfing. And then someone takes you out and shows you how to do it. And you realize that you feel very inspired. You feel like you want to go and try it some more, right? So it is allowing yourself to explore new avenues, maybe even new hobbies, being able to laugh at yourself if you're bad at it, um, <laughs> you know, because not everything's going to turn out and that's okay. The whole idea here is to relax because I will tell you right now, I don't feel good about November going into December. I do not feel good about it. Um, that is not, please, as I say that, it's not like, look out, the world's going to end in November. I think it's going to be, and I want to be honest with you, I think it's going to really be testing our pace here where it's like, how can we be okay when that just happened? Or how can we be okay when these people are going through this? I know. I know everything we say here is to get you prepared for these moments. It is to empower you. I keep hitting my cup here. <laughs> I guess that's my cue to have a drink of water. Um, you know, to get you prepared and ready so that you can not just ignore what's going on. It's 
so difficult to do these messages because as soon as I see it, I'm talking to one group of people, I feel another group of people coming in going, yeah, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, but we don't care about anybody else but ourselves. Just get to how it affects me. This is going to affect you because your life is going to fall apart. If you're an asshole, your life is going to fall apart. Oh, yes. You're going to be running scared. You brought it on yourself. Now to the non-assholes out there, if you're still here, this is very much a time, it feels, despite what's going on in the world, it does feel like an uplifting kind of moment and an accomplishment. It's like a personal best. It really is. It's, it's sort of, I've always wanted to finish that book, it gets finished. I've always wanted to finish this painting, it got finished. I've always wanted to, I know somebody who's exploring um, being a realtor, um, real estate, and I think he's gonna be phenomenal at it, and he's doing that. So there might be some completion around that time, or some of you, you know, do so before the end of October, but some of you may sign on a house. Uh, you know, it, it's like a fresh beginning. Yes, some of you are gonna find out that you are going to have a baby. So there is that as well. So new beginnings, a new chance. It, I would, I guess when we have new beginnings, we have to kind of uh, close out some old chapters, but it has more for the people who are good hearted and you carry the light. This is going to be a very rewarding time for you. Now, of course we are human, so we can always push that out, right? Where we don't think we're deserving or um, someone comes along and tries to make us see things through their lens and maybe their lens is broken, <laughs> right? Or they don't want you to succeed or they don't want you to feel good. So they're constantly pulling you back into their misery. So being aware of that and going, no, I'm not going to accept that kind of treatment or no, I'm not going to go down that road with you. A good hearted person who really truly is a light worker knows how to balance being there for people, being there for the people who really need help and knowing when to release. There is this uh, messiness where people think they intellectualize things way too much. They think they got it all figured out. And so they come up with a belief system that they throw onto every situation, such as, if someone's being negative, I just cut that off and I don't, I don't even, I don't even engage. <sighs> well, some of those people who are said to have been negative are in one of the darkest places that a human being can be in and they need help. And they're not trying to ruin anyone's day. They're just trying to survive. They're trying to get through. They don't know what to do. If you're, I see this a lot on social media about uh, coworkers that talk too much. Now, the last corporation I worked at, I was in a highly abusive situation. I've shared that over and over. And I got to the point where I, I so didn't have any self-esteem left that I felt like I had to check with people. I so didn't trust myself. I felt like I had to check with people before I made a move. I guess someone could have said that I was chatty but it wasn't because I really wanted to have a conversation. I was trying to protect myself from any further harm. If I do this, do you think it's okay? You think someone's gonna freak out? Hey, I don't really know what to do about this. That is a sign of someone who has been abused, okay? So that deserves a little compassion. That is highly different than someone who comes in and says, gosh, you know, everyone's just so mean to me. And I just, God, you know, that's not, that's someone actually making themselves a victim. That is not the same thing as somebody who's actually going through something. You feel me? It's messy. And a lot of people listening to this message, you're not going to know the difference. You're not going to know the difference. The only way you would know is if you healed your own pain. And that was a lot of the backlash during that time was people, they were unhealed themselves and short circuiting themselves. And so pain is bouncing off of pain and compounding and making it worse and you know so on and so on and then it comes under the guise of you're negative and you're bringing my my vibration down no if your vibration is good and strong nobody brings it down you're in charge of you 
So you can't blame other people if you feel like things aren't going right for you. You feel me? So be aware of that. Explore that idea. Explore this idea of you constantly, some of you having to put other people down so that you feel above, unfortunately. You know, with this kind of work, you're going to have those people coming in. They either want to squash the light or they want to hear how great they are. They want validation. Okay. The only way you're going to be able to determine if someone is working from a light frequency, a neutral frequency, which is most humans, or even darkness, which is then, you know, your cluster B types and so on and so forth, is to know what your own energy is, take accountability for what you need to do, taking care of your own pain, doing your own healing, allowing that light to come through you, allowing yourself to be what we say activated, call activated, whatever, <laughs> your ascension process, allowing that to happen so that when you are in capacity uh, or you're... Um, when you're in and near certain people, you can get a feel for who they are, right? So, and, and when, I mean, when I'm saying capacity, I mean, you can handle it. You can handle it. You don't have to go into victim mode. Oh, I need to shut you out because you're negative. Um, broaden that sense of negativity. Like, what is it? Is someone in a low frequency because they're in a bad place? Or are they in a low frequency because they're trying to manipulate people? And they never learn to make their own light, so they're constantly feeding off of other people. Or do you think you're a good person by backing those people up, the dark people? Because you're trying to martyr yourself in some way, spiritually martyr yourself. That's a hard no. Now, this can be a very interesting time when you make peace, right? And perhaps this is someone that you always thought was one of those dark people. And you actually find out they're one of the other people who was really trying to find their way. They didn't give into the darkness. They felt it around, but they were working through it. Okay. So there is a lot of um, <laughs> just circulating kind of energy. This is going to be um, a very interesting time of going through portals, of going through or going past the veil, however you want to see that. This will also be a time when people are careless, absolutely careless. And they'll go into a portal. They'll go through the veil. They will mess with the astral realm. They'll go into the fourth dimension, which is not that hard. Third and fourth dimensions collapsed into each other in 2012, right? So that happened. That's why you have more paranormal activity. This is why you have... More people saying, that's why you see it all over social media. People are like, look, the ghosts. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they're necessarily ghosts, um, but they're definitely energies coming through. Um, some of them can be energy imprints. If you don't, if you do move into a new home and you don't cleanse it and you don't put your own energy imprint into it, you will feel the turmoil of the last tenant for sure. Um, yeah, this is, a, yeah, they're saying, <laughs> the angels are coming in like a big old army and saying, this is not the time to be messing with spirits. So, as I said before, we can't just put a blanket statement over things. When we're talking about dark energies, those, that, that source of dark energy comes from all over the place. Yeah, being careful not to be an empty vessel. <sighs> Becoming an empty vessel happens when the abuser wins right where we we let them have us energetically in memory um through pain through anger through fear and i know i know it's not an easy thing to heal you heal on your own timeline there's no rush okay but just remember that um we don't want to leave ourselves in a low frequency and diminishing our light so that we could be filled up by other people's opinions or we do get influenced too much if you're open and you're in a low space now you're open to, I don't want to say possession. I don't, I don't know that it's that, but influenced for sure. So during this time, um, various holidays and, you know, it depends on what belief system you uh, partake in. But definitely this is a time where there can be openness, 
there can be invasion <laughs> if you're not careful, if you don't keep your energy up or you treat it like it's a game, you treat it like it's entertainment. Uh, and, and there's a message here about stealing energy. I don't know what that is for some of you, stealing energy. And it means some of you are stealing other people's energies. I don't know. So be mindful of that as you go along. Um, I, I didn't get any more on that. So I'm gonna pull some cards here as well. Yeah. For some of you, this can be an extraordinarily beautiful experience if you know how to treat the spirit world, if you know how to interact safely, you know how to protect yourself you, without fear and without thinking you're so precious you can't handle anything. That's not what that is, okay? <laughs> or, um, okay, there's a message here about watching the energetic imprinting, um, more of that. So this has to do with, this is the time where certain humans on the planet explore their dark side. And this can get out of hand, is what they're saying. This is also a time where people will start mixing energies. Again, not knowing what they're doing. They're dipping out and coming back in, and now they're carrying that with them. Be extra cautious this season, because if we partake in things. If you partake in things that lower your frequency or um, expose you more to the horrors of being human, that's going to compound what's already building up to happen around November beginning. December 12th is coming out too. I will be doing a live on 12-12, so, or maybe. I don't think I scheduled that. Well, I'll check. I'm not, that's, that's to be announced. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but um, December 12th is coming out. We need you to be in a good space this month. We need you to not... Go too crazy. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but I got a little Halloween shirt on here. It's cute. <laughs> Glow in the dark. Someone uh, hand drew this and I, I like this a lot and I want to support the artist. And I don't mind, you know, Halloween stuff, but um, I feel like the message here is that don't go, because you're going to get this sense of, look at me. I can communicate with spirits. This is so cool. And being so drawn in by the spiritual, what you're calling the spiritual high, um, but mishandling it, mishandling it, ruining your own energy perhaps, or um, having attachments. I used to love antiques. If you like antiques, you best listen, repeat this message, <laughs> rewind it back. Uh, you have got to cleanse that stuff before, I mean, energetically cleanse it before you bring it in. You've got to, that stuff hangs on. Uh, or if I go into any sort of place where there's like darkness, I can feel it. I can feel that and I immediately shield and protect myself. So basically what's happening here is that we have a nice little, maybe a break for some of you, nice breakthroughs. Uh, if you've been looking for a job, this might be a time where something really nice comes through. Or if you've, um, you know, maybe you just recently got in touch with a friend from the past and you're realizing, oh, I don't know why we lost touch or whatever. You know, it, there's some really nice things going on here. But as we get towards the end of October, um, middle to end of October here, don't mess with things unless you know how to do it. And don't mess with things unless you have a good intention. Now, nobody's going to listen to that one because if you have bad intentions, you're going to do whatever you want. But when you get knocked hard, you get knocked on your rear end, don't you sit there and cry. And don't you sit there and say, oh, someone help me. Oh, help me. No, you brought it on yourself. Tread lightly. Enjoy this time. Try to stay open and free, okay? But be responsible, especially with any sort of spiritual practice or what you mess with. Be careful with what you mess with, okay? 
Be careful, be careful who you're listening to. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I did that one. <laughs> Let's see, angels. Come on, give us some good messages. Ah, oh, here we go. It's Adriana. I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. We're going to talk about this. Please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. Don't, that's why they're, okay, I get it now. So that's why they're telling us to be careful. Obviously, every year we get this warning like, hey, humans, don't be stupid. Okay, <laughs> so we got that going on. This is, you could get off path. You could get sent down a way of thinking or... Um, be become a part of something that you don't actually really believe in or I just keep hearing involvement I'm getting all these examples of like you end up taking a job that someone else told you would be good for you but you don't really want or the biggest fight you're going to have some of you are going to fight would be that internal fight I'm listening. When you hear me, get quiet. I'm just hanging on to... <sighs> There's a better way. There's a better way. Some of you uh, could even find yourself moving to a whole new place where there's more peace. I also, because I'm hearing mass exodus, um, we had that during the past two years. People wanting to come out of the cities because they were seen as dangerous, being too close to people and too many people uh, being around. I know my own town saw a huge uh, expansion because of that. Something's going to happen towards the end of October going into November. That makes people really want to get out because they're targeted. The bigger cities are targeted. So there's going to be even more flooding into suburban areas and um, and all that. But this Adriana card says, yes, there are going to be things that rattle you. Yes, there are going to be things that are happening all over the place. It might be hitting a little close to home for you. Just be careful, be alert. But if you go into your heart space, let the, the heart and the mind be online with each other. Greg Braden talks about this all the time, if I remember correctly. When you do that, you'll know what the right next move is for you. And there's going to be, it, it feels like there are a lot of different events that make us go into that fear, obviously. Um, but make us have this perception that just, it's not true. It's not a true perception. The example that I was using and one of my other videos is that, you know, for women, they're starting to wake up and realize, oh, we don't need to take this kind of behavior off of others. We don't need to step up and serve in this way. We don't need to, you know what I'm saying? So it's that, um, but it could come with a little bit of exhaustion and pain because for some of you, there's regret that you didn't figure this out sooner. Don't be hard on yourselves, okay? <laughs> and for others, this is part of exhaustion of like, oh my gosh, I've lived my whole life trying to live up to someone else's standard when I, I didn't need to and I need to sort of regroup before I can move on. Uh, so then we have Merlina, okay? And this says, you are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. This, you could take that a lot of different ways, Okay. But as you're, you're getting led into new territory, that's going to offer freedom. It's going to offer peace. Um, it's going to help you feel more at home within your own skin. Um, but again, there's that, that confusion around who was I and do I really need to leave that behind? You feel me? It's going to be hard. <laughs> this came up in a weekly. This is Daniel. It says, I am the angel of marriage and I am assisting you right now. This is taking a different viewpoint of marriage in the traditional sense when it comes to relationships. But this is also being married to an idea or a way of life or, you know, again, that goes into this. You feel confused because, well, if I'm going to move on to this new 
way can I just be the old version of me to get to this new idea or whatever or get into this new uh joining right so a marriage think of contracts think of um again it doesn't just have to be a marriage partner it could be a marriage of business partners you know mergers that sort of thing <sighs> someone's trying to handle a merger of sorts uh and you're trying to figure out the steps around that yes in a business sense but there's also this idea of um having to contend with a changing world now hang with me i know that's so generic but hang with me having to contend with what people want because it's like a surprise a minute okay so if someone if you're like no like the goal here some people say it's better to become bigger the bigger and bigger and bigger better 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 right and yet you realize every time I make a move to merge ideas or to merge a business or to merge whatever, okay, in your life, it starts to give a different energy. It changes the energy of the entity, whatever that is. And so it might not be well received, you might be getting some backlash, you're becoming too big, you're losing the integrity, perhaps, or that's how people perceive it. I don't know that you would actually be losing the integrity. Um, like, let's say you are a small business owner, okay? And let's say you have a beauty business and then a big brand wants to come and buy you out. Well, people might have a problem with that. Like, you're like, oh my gosh, this is a great opportunity. And, you know, like, that could be a lot of financial stability for you. But people have this idea of, we want you to be small and relatable. So if you then get bought up by a big company, you lose some of your flair, um, especially in a social media context. Social media plays into this a lot more than people realize. Because again, I don't know that people want to keep you small necessarily, but again, that whole relatable thing. So when we're talking about the Daniel card and the marriage, the marriage, the merging, the bringing together of things, of people, of ideas, whatever it is, there is confusion around it and you feel like you're being led into joining forces. This could be a collaboration as well. But the old you is either driving ahead too much and you're about to lessen the popularity of something or an old version of you is suspicious and going, I don't know about this. <laughs> right? I don't know if I want to move forward. So let's get another card on that to see. So they're just prepping you for that push pull. Do not be hard on yourself. It's quite natural there. Yeah, you, you'll be fine. Um, it's Vanessa. To make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it? So here is the hard, tough look at yourself, right? and go, am I doing this for an ego reason? Am I doing this just because I wanna seem super popular or super big or just to be able to say, I did it? <laughs> or is it something that really will serve the greater good? Is this something that um, will ultimately, well, they're saying serve more than your purpose alone. <sighs> Will it unify or will it separate? That's a hard one because on a surface level, whatever you're trying to do, and if it is a real marriage, like a between partners, you might think, well, no, this unifies us. This brings us together. This brings us together as a family, blah, blah, blah. It just feels like it's more complicated than that. And there are many more things to consider. That's why you need that more information, more research for some of you. You, the, the research might be if there are stepkids involved, asking them how they really feel about it. Now, some parents raise their kids to be obnoxious. It happens, okay? Um, and, and those uh, stepkids are like, I just don't like you, so I just want you out of here and da 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 But they're, you know, good kids and they're just feeling like this is, this is a lot of change. This is new. This is you know, whatever, getting their feelings about that. Or if let's go back to the, like a business example, if you're trying to merge, um, listen to the people that this would affect. 
they may not like you in the end. Okay, so be careful with that. <laughs> be very, very cautious and careful. What is really for the greater good and not just for reputation or if for marriage, like, oh, it's just expected that I be married and so that's what I'm doing. No, not, not a good enough reason anymore. I know for forever we've always, that's how we've treated marriage. That's your validation as a person. Once you are good enough to be in a union with someone else, we're not doing that anymore. Take back your power. Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Yeah, this whole thing feels like it's the breaking of a cycle. It's a breaking of a societal cycle. And that includes what I just said. Just going into things because it validates us or just going into things because it's expected. When we take our power back, we get our clarity and we can then listen to our internal guidance that's actually leading us towards our wishes, goals, and dreams. It eliminates confusion. This is about integrity. It's about staying true, okay? Not just to yourself, but to anybody else who might be involved in the situation. Let's get one more card, and then we'll end this here. Children. All right, Indigo and Crystal Children, Archangel Metatron, you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. Um, it's not about that. It's, I mean, maybe, but <laughs> this is about not letting, first of all, I was using the example of stepchildren. Here's another indication of that. There's also something here where, in general, we've gotten so focused on our personal validations, maybe through marriage, maybe through just any relationship or personal validation through, look at what I accomplished. I made all this happen. All the while, here's the real, we're going to be getting information about children in October. Um, please look towards what indigenous children are going through. Please don't ignore that. Don't ignore that. Think about what children all over the world are going through. We need to be focused on that and not allowing ourselves to be distracted by our reputation, how much money we make. Will we go down in history as being the person who did blah, 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 blah? There are bigger things at hand. All right. So that's October. If you like this, I can do one for November. Uh, keep me posted on what you think uh, and what's happening throughout the month. Please remember that this is timeless, actually. I mean, I'm posting it for October 2022. But at any point, if you come across this video, listen to it because there might be something else that um, lights up an understanding within you. And please make sure that you share this with others. All right. Thank you so much. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.